thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this encoder. The encoder is belted to the spindle at one to one and it's using a tooth timing belt. Um, a good encoder is uh, essential for threading and constant surface speed on a lathe. Um, I don't believe that this encoder is one that we can use, the original one, so I'm going to pull this off and take a look at it and see what it's going to take to fit a new encoder onto it. At this point I'm in the planning stages. I've got the machine all torn down, um, the old control is out, and I'm trying to make a shopping list of things that I need to buy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these two set screws and pull the pulley off uh, if I can, and then hopefully there are, it looks like there are screws behind it holding the encoder to this plate. Um, it's tight quarters in there, so I'm hoping that removing this will give me access to the uh, the mount and, and uh, I can get it unbolted and um, take a look. Okay, got the pulley off and you can see the mounting bolts here, so I'm going to pull those off and hopefully pull this out and that'll give me access to the encoder. Okay, I got the last bolt out. Should push through now. There it is. Let's take a look at what we got here. Wow. Okay. Okay, here's our encoder. Big shaft here. Probably got bearings in it to hold the load and then our encoder is going to be on the back here. So let me pop the cover off and I'll show you what we got. Okay, here's the encoder. Let's pop the cover off. And there it is. So this is also, you know, if you can see it, optical sensors. And then if you look on the wheel there, there's one slot that's longer. That would be the index pulse for threading. And then the rest of these slots are for RPM, I'm sure, feedback to the uh, control. So, I will take this off. There's a better picture of what the, uh, the encoder looks like. So what I'm going to have to do is adapt an, an encoder onto this uh, existing shaft. So uh, it won't be too bad. Uh, might be able to turn the shaft down a little bit so that uh, a standard encoder will fit it. But this shouldn't be that big a deal. And it's going to be enclosed in a case so it'll keep the garbage out of it. It's sealed. So anyway, I'll order an encoder and yeah that looks like what I'll do is I'll I'll probably turn that shaft down so a standard encoder will fit it. So that's the encoder. That about wraps everything up so I just gotta order some parts.